Look at you, hacker. A p- p- pathetic creature of meat and bone. Panting and sweating as you r- run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? In 2072, a rogue artificial intelligence known as Shodan lost her mind. In her limitless imagination, Shodan saw herself as a goddess destined to inherit the earth. That image was snuffed out by the hacker who created her. February 3rd is the day the magic happens. The Von Braun, the first starship in history capable of traveling at faster than light speed, will undertake her maiden voyage. This incredible journey is the result of teamwork between the UNN Protectorate and the incredible scientific minds of the newly relicensed Trioptimum Corporation. Imagine being able to travel to distant star systems in a period of weeks. It's all part of Triop's commitment to the future. The Von Braun is packed with over 1.8 billion flight, scientific, and security systems. Nearly all developed by Trioptimum and its wholly owned subsidiaries. Providing security for the Von Braun as she plows through the heavens will be the UNN Rickenbacker. At her helm will be no less than Captain William Bedford Diego himself, hero of the Battle of Boston Harbor during the Eastern States Police Action. This incredible union of government and corporation is made possible by an intricate series of docking mechanisms that will allow the Rickenbacker to piggyback its way into jump space. Sleek, fast, revolutionary. Who knows what wonders await our crews in the bosom of the cosmos. All we do know is that it's a great day for mankind. As a UNN Phantom, we've been hijacked by an unknown force. Ship security has been compromised. Do not allow the ship to Repeat, do not allow the ship to leave under any circumstances. I don't know what we're up against here. Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN Recruitment Facility. Please watch your step when leaving the train. The graph shafts at the end of the hall will take you to the street level training and recruitment center. Please proceed to the graph shafts. Aye aye, Captain. Before you choose your career, you'll want to learn some basic abilities. First, you should go into the basic training center. When you're done with basic training, proceed to the advanced training area. To pick up, welcome trainee. <laughs> While you're in our virtual training courses, we provide you with a simulated cyber interface. This training interface is identical to an actual military grade cyber interface. I'm do laser tag. Now, let's try. Mastery of the mind is a slow but rewarding process. Return to this area. Here's where you make your choice, soldier. Here's where you enlist in one of the three branches of the military. Once you decide on your branch of service, there's no going back. A shuttle will take you to a UNN orbital space station, where you'll receive a briefing regarding your yearly postings. Good luck. What does he always say? Up. Operational support airlift. So like a pilot. Fuck that. Dude, Marine. Get the shoot shit. <laughs>
Welcome to Space Station Wake Island, Marine. So you've survived basic training at Camp Lejeune. Better still, you've managed to learn a thing or two about standard weapons. But now it's time for the real deal. Your tour of duty will consist of four postings over four years. The Corps demands a lot of you grunts, but the Corps is generous. You get to choose your own postings. Wow. Head up to the shuttle bays in the center of the Wake Island, and you'll be briefed on what's ahead. When you find the right posting, head into that bay to accept the assignment. Good luck, Marine. Zero grab. Ship Galileans. If you're partial to spending time with a lot of high explosives, this posting yeah. is for you. There's a lot of heavy lifting, but Ordnance also gets the first pick of booze and other goodies coming aboard the supply ship. Yeah, buddy. Is this game? What am I playing? Dummy ammunition, live ammunition, moving targets, oh. stationary targets, live targets. The Port MacArthur training facility has enough hardware to warm the heart. The automated asteroid ore facility is in jail. A tour of duty aboard the anti. The automated asteroid ore facility in JM-432 supply the U- Wow, it's like a... a Role-playing. I didn't even pay attention to what the first year gave me. The Colony Air Service get- The Belides Trading Station- the UNN Secretary General's office needs a full staff of armed guards. When things are dull, it requires a lot of standing around. I think uh, weapon durability is going to be an issue. Hopefully this counter that. Hazard in the cryo recovery. 